I got a call from a friend a few days ago. She said that I have to check her place out. Something she wanted me to see. I asked what it was. She said some sort of infestation, but nothing familiar to her. She sent me a video and when I saw it, I got goosebumps right away. It was hordes of crawling critters I never saw before. It's like a creepy gathering of hairy little aliens about to start an invasion. <laughs> I had a little idea what they were, but I needed to see them and investigate further. After driving for about half an hour, I finally got there, somewhere in Taguanao, in the Hakagenyo city. By the way, this cap is so cool, only 200 pesos. <laughs> but I gotta hurry though, something's wrong with my stomach. Nah, I was just getting antsy meeting this invasive army. Let's get it on. I was a bit disappointed to see that only a few were left, some were already dead sprayed and killed with chlorine. Though it's really hard to identify them because they're still in the early instar or early stages of their larva life, but I think these are 10 caterpillars because of the tent-like structures around the area and how they are spread. Or are they? <laughs> Anywho, I filmed the area and took some documentary evidences. But I gotta be careful. Hairs of these caterpillars can be painfully itchy if they touch your skin and you could develop a bad rash too. One local here turned into the thing when one of these fell in his face. Sheesh. <laughs> these caterpillars produce silk for building tent-like structures that may serve as their feeding stations, home, and resting places where they are also given some protection from predators. They're social caterpillars and live in a group. Sometimes they'll huddle together while resting. They also move together when looking for foliage to eat. Some species can damage trees permanently, especially the young trees, but most healthy ones can refoliate over a period of time. Nothing here to be of much grave concern, just part of nature doing its thing. Eerie and hair racing, but beautifully interesting. Thank you for watching, I'll see you in the next infestation. <laughs> Urban Wild City would like to thank City Local Environment and Natural Resources Office of Cagayan de Oro or Clendro Cidio for the recognition on the program's advocacy on environmental conservation and protection. Greatly appreciate your support.